Well, I'm currently a senior policy advisor of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and I'm focusing on climate change. I've been doing this since uh, 19, uh, well, 2009, and uh, my, all my work is international, international negotiations, alliance building. Well, the fundamental tenet for the way we're operating on these building blocks is that it's voluntary. So we're not imposing anything on our farmers and ranchers and foresters. And one of the ways in which we have done that in the past and will continue is we have this conservation reserve program. So that's a way to improve the environment and to pr create incentives to take land uh, and say, for example, a riparian buffers by rivers and to put them into these conservation reserve programs. It, it's voluntary and it's an, an opportunity to en enhance and improve soils. So that's, that's one example and we're going to be doing more of that. Well, the enabling environment is um, one of three action groups. And that, that action group, enabling environment action group, is looking at policies and what policies are out there that can be enhanced to ramp up on the ground climate smart agriculture activities. And part of what we're doing is bringing input from the knowledge action group and also the investment action group. The focus for the time being is on doing that in country case studies. So we are looking at some specific opportunities that countries have to do more in terms of how they can improve their climate smart implementation and are there policies that can be um, improved upon and we're doing this in a collaborative way. I'm noting an improvement in the way forward in the UNFCCC and I, I've seen evidence of that in the last meeting we had in June in Bonn and I'm expecting that to sustain itself after Paris. So the way in which I think we can proceed would be to develop by consensus a work program on agriculture within the UNFCCC. Then we need to link it to other parts of the UN. So that has to do with the tech centers, the technology mechanism. We have to also do it with respect to funding and the Green Climate Fund. And then ultimately I see a linkage and a collaboration with some other alliances that are focusing on agriculture. Uh, this is a, a robust plan that will take a number of years, but I'm very optimistic that we're headed in the right direction and there's a full recognition of the importance of agriculture and climate change. I think the way forward is going to be very positive.